Brussels exhibition opens its gates to the world. Its central feature is the atomium, a huge model of an iron molecule, and each 60-foot sphere contains a display of one country's industrial atomic achievements. Leaving his palace to open the exhibition is King Baudouin, the young monarch of Belgium, with his brother, Prince Albert. It's not often that the whole of the Belgian royal family appears together in public, but today, Queen Elizabeth, Baudouin's grandmother, and his stepmother, the Princess de Rete, are here, and the man to whom Baudouin still defers as the head of the family, ex-King Leopold. The 500-acre exhibition, which King Baudouin is opening, is the first world exhibition since the New York one of 1939. Apart from Belgium, 41 countries and 10 international organizations are showing their achievements to the world. The biggest roll call ever. The British section includes everything from a pub to a shop window of British industry. For each country is striving to portray not only its technical progress, but also its way of life. Very appropriate to an exhibition whose theme is peace. An atomic clock, the most accurate kind in the world, is a favorite exhibit, particularly as a meeting place where there's no argument about whose watch is wrong. The Russians are here, of course. The French, too. And for once, the Americans are modest about achievements and concentrate on their way of life. Oriental exhibits provide a charming contrast to the dazzling modernity of most of the fair. For this is, above all, a survey of the civilization of the nuclear age. In the words of King Baudouin, the human race has entered a new era in its history, and the aim of the exhibition is to revive the atmosphere of collaboration and peace. 